<laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you ready to try this gin we've got tonight? I don't think I am. <laughs> so, this gin is by a distillery we love, Pickerings. Love Pickerings. Love their standard gin. Their 1947, oh my God, it's amazing. Navy strength, lovely. Great tour. Uh, great tour we went and we learned lots when we went there for a, for a gin tour. Highly recommend it when you can go touring again. Uh, I know I've poured out my whole sample, but I'm not sure. I think I was maybe quite uh, optimistic of me. I don't even want to take the lid off. <laughs> it's not even like a 25 mil sample. It's just like a... <laughs> Oh. I can't, I can't. Oh, poor Summer. Look, you can see the green colour that it is as well. Um, they, will they pride themselves in not using any artificial... Any oh. artificial... <laughs> like... So they are using, they must be using Brussels sprouts, like they must be using actual Brussels sprouts in their stills. So sure enough, we spoke to, um, Sarah did a tasting with us, the rep lady did a tasting with us, who's really, really good, really knowledgeable, and she talked us through all the gins, and she said from about July, <laughs> that you can smell this <laughs> in the distillery. So this one is a charitable cause, so it goes towards the re-engage that's a charity looking to make sure that old people aren't alone at Christmas basically so it's a nice very nice oh that is... <laughs> I can't get near it it smells like farts oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> do you like Brussels sprouts I do I like Brussels sprouts I do don't like Brussels sprouts? I, I don't I can't I try them every year at Christmas I get maybe a quarter of a one We've got like a non Brussels sprouts eater and a Brussels sprouts eater to give like a non biased point of view here. Um, and it is just, it's absolutely disgusting, man. I can't Smell get that far in. It's so gassy. Well, you know what's next, gal? <laughs> oh, don't make me. <laughs> Are you going for it? Are you there? Are we going to switch ears? Cheers off. Forgot all it? about the, the pleasantries. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm not getting any ice anymore. I spat it into my ice container. <laughs> oh, no. It, went, it probably just hit the back of my throat and I was like, no, absolutely not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I know some people do like it. When we did our tasting, some people did like it. They say to try it with tonic and cucumber. I've got some mint leaves. I could try it with mint leaves. Oh, it's so horrible. I've got pineapple juice here. Do you think that would go well? I think it'll waste the pineapple juice. Probably. Oh, it's the pineapple is covering up quite a lot of the stuff that's there there's pineapple just a wee bit far at the end <laughs> okay it's got bearable with the mint and tonic i've not tasted it yet it... Oh, <laughs> like rotting leaves on a wet day <laughs> like i kind of so it's very unique though. Hats off, man. That is mm -hmm. probably the most unique gin I've ever tried. Um they she did say also you can try it in a well, sorry, I was just thinking about that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, she did say try it in a bloody Mary as well. You can try it in a wee herby tone in your in your bloody Mary. <laughs> I'm not convinced. I think it's for some people and it's not for other people. And I like lots of things that are definitely not for other people, but this one is just not for me. Good to try new things. Yes, definitely. Plan to that. Cheers. <laughs> Gonna put this down the sink now. I'm gonna give it to people who don't know what it is. <laughs> oh.
Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Be sure to follow us on social media at The Grail Dune to keep up with our latest news and check out our website www.thegrail.scot. Slange and see you next time. Re-engage community Christmas campaign. Yes, I remember now. A big call companionship to older people who would otherwise think this would That's nice. I hope they didn't give them this. I know, Christ. <laughs>